Hello boys and girls. Today I will show you the next steps for adding detail to your clay wall pocket. You'll need a couple of things and it's everything you needed last time when we rolled the slab and we folded the pocket and put the newspaper in. You can leave the newspaper in your pocket just to make sure it stays strong and it doesn't collapse. Be careful about picking up your pocket because it might be too soft where it bends or it might be too dry where it starts to become fragile and it could break. So be very careful about moving it around too much. And you'll have your water cup and your wooden stylus for carving details. What you can do is if your clay feels a little bit too dry, you can dip your finger in the, the water cup and smooth water over top of your clay wall pocket. Make sure the sides that you scored and slipped are together and that those don't break apart. You don't want to pull the pocket. You want to leave that so it's attached. The next step is looking at your sketch and deciding what sorts of details you are going to add onto your clay wall pocket. One option is called subtractive sculpture. When you think about subtracting something, you take away from it. And that's what we do in subtractive sculpture you carve away or carve into the clay. So I can carve designs just by pressing my wooden stylus into the clay. And that's what you, I need to see on your wall pocket is subtractive sculpture. These little chunks that come off, you can either peel them off or just leave them. Next week you'll be able to brush them off more easily and they won't stick. So maybe I wanna do a pattern that's angled just by carving details with the angle of my wall pocket. Don't carve too deeply. If you press too hard, it is going to cause your clay to become really, really thin. You can see here I press way too deep and it becomes really fragile and it will break really easily because it's so thin right there. So you don't want to carve too deeply. If you do, you can add clay and then press that back to fix it. But please be gentle when you're carving in the details so that your clay stays thick. That is one option for your sculpture, adding detail to it. The next option is adding clay. It is called additive sculpture. What do you think that means? If I'm going to create my clay sculpture and add additive sculpture. Just like with subtractive design and sculpture you're taking away, for additive sculpture you are adding clay to your clay. So what I'll do is I'll give you a little piece of clay, probably about this size, so you can start adding detail. Please look at your sketch. Have your sketch out because you designed your clay wall pocket with a specific theme. And so as you're designing it, look at your sketch and go off of what you have designed there. What you can do then is when you're ready for your additive sculpture, you can take the clay and you will actually be sculpting shapes. You can flatten pieces with your hand. You could carve detail. Maybe I want to add some triangles. I could carve a triangle like this. If it's not the shape I want, I can fix it and adjust it. Maybe I want to add some a triangle pattern coming off of it. Or you could sculpt, in, some of you drew animals, some of you drew volcanoes. And so these are options for sculpting your details with clay and then scoring and slipping it on. And that will cause the clay to pop off of your clay wall pocket. So you'll have some sculpture coming off of it. How do you get your clay to stick? If I just press it on, it easily comes off. And we don't want it to fall off. We have to do something that causes it to stick really well, almost like glue, 
and that is called scoring and slipping. Scoring looks like this. It is where you take your piece that you're going to stick it on and you carve little lines in two directions, crisscross, into the clay just to rough up the edges. Wherever you're going to place it on your clay, you need to do the same thing. So I'm going to mark, do hash marks like this. The messier it looks, the better it will stick. Once I score my clay, then I need to dip my finger in the water and I just drip some drops of water on top, just like we did when we needed to seal our wall pocket. Drip the water on it, oops, and you can press it on. I just press gently and then I can smooth out the extra score marks so I don't see those. I can carve it in like that. I could even carve within the design. Maybe I want to do a circle there or I could blend it out if I don't like it. That's the awesome thing about clay is that you can change it and adjust it just by sculpting it and smoothing it. You will need to have subtractive sculpture like you did last year with your coil pinch pot your pinch pot and you will need to have some additive sculpture as well so things popping off that you score and slip on if I come by and wiggle the pieces and they fall off that means let's say I stuck this on and I didn't score and slip if I can wiggle the piece off it's a really wet piece of clay if I can wiggle it off that means you didn't score and slip enough so I'll come by and I'll wiggle your pieces Look at your sketch, go off of that, and think about what your theme is for your wall pocket. I have a lot of zigzags and straight lines and geometric shapes, so maybe that's the theme I want to stick with for my pocket. That's our goal today. Have fun, be creative with subtractive sculpture, carving into your clay, and additive sculpture, sculpting pieces out of clay, and scoring and slipping them on. Enjoy!